I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to me building the Tamiya Honda CRF 1000L Africa Twin 1 6th scale motorbike. Uh, this is part 7 uh, where I'll be doing the front bit of the bike, uh, not the handlebars, but the front forks and front brake and putting the front wheel on and that sort of stuff. Uh, the next part is the the panels around the bike and then the final part is going to be the handlebars apparently so we're getting close to the end but not quite there yet uh, right I'm gonna go and as ever dig out the bits that I need uh, a lot of this is going to be metal parts the the tubes and the forks are mainly metal by the looks of it and springs and things inside them so I'll, I'll get the parts that I need ready uh, there are some parts that do need painting and priming or priming and painting rather so I'll say so I'll get everything I need for the first little bit which looks to be basically the forks and then I'll uh, show you those and get them together then we've got uh, the what we got oh the instrument panel and then uh, there's the headlights to go on there then we get the front wheel brake on and the tire on and that then gets attached to the front fork and that's going to be pretty much it I think so not a lot but some nice detail work in the instrument panel on there according to the instruction manual so uh yeah i'll get everything ready and then show you where i am well that's the first bits for the first bits of the forks and a lot of this is metal parts so i'm just going to put them together as per the instructions and see what happens see how it's meant to look and what we're meant to be doing uh, right with this one uh, there's obviously a right end and a wrong end. One of these little black bits needs to be glued into the end there, which means so using a, a proper glue rather than a Tamiya extra thin because it needs to be actually glued. Actually, I need to get rid of that little nub there as well first. Uh, then we have a big screw that needs to go through. Then three of these springs, one, two, and three. Uh, then one of these tubes, which makes it all springy. Uh, right, then we've got this bit that I should have built first. One of those. Feels like it locates a little bit. Let's put that down a sec. Uh, these two have this one in the middle. Uh, let's get the right way round so I know what I'm dealing with. That one goes that way and that way. All right. Okay. There's another one that's exactly the same to be made as well. So that has that in the middle. It's got to go there, I think. Okay. So this will then need a screwdriver. That comes through there. And then there is a little screw that goes in the other end. Obviously, that's not going to hold that all together at the moment. But when that's done, what we're going to have, yeah, it's going to have some movement on here, which is obviously going to be the, the shock absorbery bit. Uh, then they're both bolted together using that bit across here. Let's put that bit down a minute. Yeah, that goes across there with a bit on the other side. That's those bits go onto there. And then these bits cap on the other end, just like that. Okay, so that's that. Uh, none of that bit needs to be painted, so I can leave that pretty much together like that. In fact, I'm going to get the other one together much the same basically so there's less bits floating around on the bench here and the springs are not 
in danger of going places. Uh, right then, we have the first bit of the proper fairing, uh, which these go inside. Something like that, that needs to be glued together like that, obviously. And the same on that one, the other side. And then that piece goes on something. Oh, there we go, got drawn up in the middle there, all onto there. Uh, this bit's in NATO black, and this is going to be in the uh, Tamiya Italian red. Now, I haven't got Italian red. What I have got, and what I did get, which is the uh, Vallejo equivalent is Ferrari red, which is quite nice, and I'll see how that looks on it. But that needs to be basically all the white stuff by the looks of it, which is the front mudguard, which will be on which way around, that way around. Oh, let's move the camera a bit so you can see. On the bike, with that on there like that, it goes on the front that way around, obviously around the wheel. So, uh, yeah. I'll get this primed and painted up. So those bits in red. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to see the inside of those, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks like that's going to be open. That's obviously where these are actually going to fit into somehow. So that's going to be visible on the inside a bit. So I'm not sure where I can actually hold that to paint. I think I'll get these glued together. I must be able to hold down here, That's probably where. No, that doesn't attach there. Oh, it's the other end, sorry. It's the, the silver end goes all the way down through there. So yeah, I'll get these glued together and primed and painted. And these bits obviously primed and painted as well. And then uh, show you where we are putting it together for final. See you in a sec. And I just realised you didn't see any of that, because I'm down here and I've got to move the camera back again. So, yes, all of this bit needs to go together. Basically like that. But this is, although it's internal, it's still going to be visible. So I need to make sure I get all of that painted up. Looks like the only place I'm going to have to grab is sort of these bits here. So I'll make sure I hold one, one side paint it all and then hold the other side and make sure to get the bits that I missed. So I'd uh, get all that primed and painted up and then come back to you in a sec. Right, let's see what we've got so far. I've painted all the bits. The mudguard itself is looking nice and shiny after several gloss coats. I think I've got the colour about right as well. A uh, little bits of blue on the chrome. Uh, the black bits, plastic discs I've glued in there. Uh, the springs are also in there already. So the first bit we need to do is get some of this together. Now these are both the same so I'm not worried about which one's which at the moment. I've also glued these tubes into the metal bit. So that goes into there. With the screw. Yeah, that's locating down onto there. That goes in the other end. And I don't know how much of this I can actually get on camera, but we're using the little Allen key that comes supplied. Get that down in there, and that should... Tighten up in there. Feel something happening. There you go, that's that. Tight there and springy. Uh, right, so once that's on there, that's that one, uh, that needs to go on to here. Got getting these the right way around, so I'm not going to be doing this quite yet. I'll figure out which one's which. 
that goes on there and then that bit goes down to the other side one of these goes on the end uh, then the front and back of the mud guard go together I need to remove some of the paint and glue those together like that and that will be all the bits that I've got done so far um, oh no sorry one more bit these screw uh, these bits here we go screw onto the inside of those uh, with the tube going up and the bits going back that way so sort of that way around but that's why I need to figure out which side is which so I'll uh, get those bits assembled and then show you it finished so far ready for a couple of extra bits to go onto the edges as ever that's that glued together quite nicely nice contrast between the black and the red uh, now those bits need to be screwed with the four screws that I've got prepared onto the bottom here now I just need to check to make sure I'm getting it the right way round yeah that the extra bit on the bottom here obviously goes into the extra bit on there so that goes through there and goes together like that so I'm going to get a couple of screws in just loosely and then get the other two in better just to make sure they're all lined up properly so let's see where that's got to go yeah let's move back a bit so you can see what I'm doing another time when magnetic screwdrivers are both a blessing and a curse because you need it to get it in the right place but if it gets stuck to the side it's just awkward right yeah that's one started off on there drop most of them screws There you go, that's that started on there. So do the same on the other side, get that lined up properly. About there, yep, yeah, I feel that locate. That's that. Looks about right, so let's get those tightened into there now then. Not sure how much weight of the bike these are going to end up actually taking, so do need to make sure these are quite secure. that which still works as suspension nice I like it looks good I'll get a bit of cloth in there and get rid of the fingerprints and shine them up before it's all put assembled but that's that bit uh, right I'm, there's a couple of bits that need to go on to the back sides here so I'll sort those out and then there's the top bridge then the front fork goes, actually goes on to the bike uh, and then I've got the front inner panels and the dashboard to do and then get the wheel on so I'll get the next bits together and then uh, start off and show you what's what right that's all the bits really needed to get the front fork actually attached so let's do that now all the bits have been uh, primed and painted there's a couple of bits that still need attention uh, these basically go on to there 
but before they do they have the indicators fitted to them now I'll pick that up I can't put that back down again right now what I've done already is the shiny silver tape has been stuck to the inside of the indicator bit and then they go into that frame which then goes on to there uh, so I need to <coughs> use double sided tape if to excuse if you can hear any fireworks outside it is in fact 5th of November today so people have been setting off fireworks since it got dark and no doubt we'll be carrying on for a while to come so let's get this on here just take one side of the tape off and we get the tape where it needs to be except I threw away the tape and kept the other bit so let's get the tape on there get rid of the cover uh, that's the other cover right and then the shiny side of that goes into the framework that gives us an indicator in a little housing so we do the same again with the other bit shiny bit gets taped down onto there right now the inside bits of this obviously just need to make sure I've not got paint on there give it somewhere to stick they conveniently make these properly one blob bigger than the other so they only go on the one way round I'll grab my extra thin I'll just put a blob in there then that will locate just on there and again for the other one the other side And then those bits need to go on where I say. They only go on one way round if you try and put them on the other way round. They don't line up. Actually, they do line up. So let's see which side goes which. Uh, holding it that way round, this is the other side. So let's turn that round there. It's going to locate across the top here and onto the pin there at least that's the theory ah there it is yep just get a bit of a touch of extra thin in under there hold that for a couple of seconds to give that time to set and then repeat on the other side glue on there so that's that now we put that aside for a second while we carry on with another bit 
Uh, this is a very shiny chrome metallic bit. Has to go on the top of there. Does only key in one way, so make sure I get it around the right way for that. Probably going to be easier doing it downwards. There you go, that's that keyed in place. So that goes on there. Now this bit, I've already stuck these bits on the end after painting them chrome and adding the metallic black. Now let me just follow the instructions. Let's get that the right way round, there we go. And that goes through there. Ah, oh, it locates onto those two pins. gives you a nice shiny bit in the middle there. So before I put that on there fully, let me just get rid of the fingerprints from that. It's going to be difficult to polish up when it's inside. And get that jammed on. And then as soon as I can get to the other end of the holes there, I can add some extra thin down there. That hold that in place nicely, and that gives me a shiny bit in there. There's some decals to go on top of that, which I'll sort out in a moment. Uh, over the other side of this, no, on that side of that, these two bits have to go in. Again, they have a left and a right. One's got two bits either side, which goes over this side, like that, and the other one goes the other side. So let's get some glue on there. Get that one in. And that back on there. Right. Uh, I'll sort out the decals to do that in a moment and do that off camera. It's just a couple to go in and around here. Uh, the last bit is this one, which goes on to the front of the bike. Let's get the bike back down. Onto this bit that we've already got up here. Let's move the camera a sec. Uh, that one goes on and in like that. I do need to add a touch of glue to that before I do that. Yeah, that can go on now, and the other bit goes on after anyway. So Pretty sure that's where the headlight assembly is going to fit up the top here. Uh, this bit will, after I put the decals on it, sit over. Uh, yeah, that post goes into there. That's the steering, and then the bit that I've already got here goes up. And that actually fits over the top like that. Then there is a screw that goes through there and holds that together. And then that last piece that you might have seen down here goes over the top of the screw and we're, we're done. So I'll get the decals on and then get that assembled and then I'll show you it briefly assembled and then I'll get on with the next bit. And there you go, that's so far. Uh, more bit to do on this part of the video but I thought I'd show you this first of all. Uh, starting to look more like a bike now it's actually got if not a front wheel a front bit the decals I've put on 
give a bit of detail to the ignition switch in there all nice and obviously all screwed together now although that's on there it does still give you some steering if you should you need it you want it so yeah so far so good um, the next bit is the uh, fuel tank and headlight assembly and then the front wheel so I'll uh, get the next bits up and down and painted and then uh, come back and show you them being assembled see you in a moment right quick update everything's been painted in the right colours the outside bits uh, NATO most of, mostly NATO a few bits of chrome and aluminium as well uh, these bits need a chrome ring the outside is titanium silver and the inside is titanium gold so I've made little flowers uh, I've masked off the inside pieces I painted it all in chrome masked off the inside pieces now I'm going to paint in titanium silver and then when that's dry I'll mask the outside bit and the chrome bit and then do the inside in gold I've done both sides so I'll get them painted up and then get everything uh, varnished and then get ready with the decals on the control panel so won't be long right that's all the bits for the last part of this build uh, I've put the tyre on the wheel and put on the air cap down there as well still got it sitting on the stand just to stop it getting distorted uh, there, are, there are a few more screws and bolts that I need to sort out which I haven't got done yet uh, all of these bits I've just left stuck on the blue tack which I used to hold it while I was spraying it bolts there as well uh, and most of this is all good to go um, right the important bit the mo most important bit I think is going to be this which is the dashboard uh, which has got one transparent piece goes over the top and then a frame that goes over the top of that which holds that in there but there's some decals to go onto the base bit before the clear plastic bit goes on there anyway uh, then we've got this is the fuel tank which just sits on the back of the bike sort of in, just in front of the seat then we've got the, the face which is actually that way up and is all the headlight assembly uh, these bits are the front brakes with these brake pad bits as well a uh, couple more bits of hydraulics so basically the headlamp assembly go through there to make sure I'm doing it the right way around uh, that goes on to there and that bit goes on onto the top that will need to be glued on uh, then we've got this transparent piece that sits underneath if I can get it lined up there we go that goes under there and then the main top cover goes over the top of all of that and then that all fits inside there as well so you've got nice shiny headlamps all in one assembly uh, right another bit also another bit for the dashboard to fit into and things like that so and there's obviously the discs came out quite well with the masking happy with that so I'll get these stuck together what needs to go on together that one goes on there first then all of these six on each of those go around the edge uh, then what happens with that that's done on both of those and then they're basically screwed onto the wheel and then the wheel was fitted onto the front fork with a bolt and then we put the discs on and one more tube of course uh, so and that will be that the let's show you that bit that, let me move the camera for you right the bike there this goes in and over I've got to obviously get the pipes and wires all out of the way uh, onto the back here so actually really high goes up there like that I think that will actually go down into that 
matching piece there so I've got to get the tubes out of the way and figure out where they've got to go but that goes on the top there and then that bit uh, one way around that way around no, right the first time let's get it that way there and she goes on to the top like that again got everything in the way so you can't really see but like that and then the um, dash sits inside there so I need to get the decals on that and get these bits glued together get the headlight assembly all glued together that then obviously goes onto the front around there somewhere that goes into this shaping down here uh, then say the wheel that just goes underneath as well and then we're done so I'll get that done and assembled and then come back and give you the final view of the finished section of the bike and there we go that's this part of the build completed um, I've taken to wearing gloves whenever I'm doing anything on the actual bike itself because of all these shiny bits obviously just don't want to leave fingerprints on them so let me show you what we've, what's new we've got the front wheel which has got active su suspension uh, does actually steer uh, does actually turn as well um, it's got brakes oh, disc brakes down on there and obviously the front fender in the colour that we're going for uh, there's still room for one of these hoses to go on somewhere so I've got to figure out a later spot date I'll figure out what goes on there uh, we've got headlights obviously sitting in the back there ready for the front fairing to go on the body itself where well, we have a dashboard and obviously this is the top half of the handlebars which is for the steering I'm not sure where these hoses are going as yet but I'm sure that will become clear soon uh, got the ignition system in there the fuel tank on the back obviously all connected up now and uh, all in all it's pretty much a monster getting far too big uh, but it's coming together nicely I'm very happy with the way it's working the way it's coming together um, yeah all uh, right as ever thanks for watching I hope you're subscribing and following and catching all the other parts as, as and when they're coming out I'm gonna need to find somewhere else to put the camera to get the whole thing on at some point because it's just too big for my bench now um, right uh, as I say that's it for this this part uh, next up is the uh, pretty much the body bodywork, the panels, or most of the panels on the front there, the seat and everything else, and then the handlebars to finish with. So, um, see you soon. Stay tuned for the next part in a few weeks' time, and uh, thanks for watching.